you get a chance to sit at home and, and some actual thinking time and you think really what is my purpose here am i just to be some machine for some corporation to make money off of and i more than share my time with my family with these companies and for what they wanted to, us to agree to do away with pensions for any new hires that came after us. I'm not willing to sell out uh, my future brothers and sisters that might be coming in here. It could be your kid, it could be the kid down the street. We're not interested in having our retirement plans in a Wall Street speculation portfolio. Uh, we want something guaranteed. Corporations don't want to pay their employees a fair living wage with a fair cost of living increase. Instead, they want to shift that over to stockholders and uh, the president, CEOs, and vice presidents. Over the last uh, year, our CEO's pay has gone up uh, 160%. They're projected to make between 5.7 and $5.9 billion in profits this year. That wealth was created on the back of the workers that build these products. We need a fair contract. We need it now. More U -A -W -A -A -W -A -W I don't think anybody doesn't want to see John Deere make profits. We know that golden goose has to lay golden eggs, but man, it's time to share some of the gold. If a president and CEO is getting $30 million a year and you have a person that's working the line that's making $15 an hour, tell me that's fair. There's a, a, a labor shortage. Well, really, I think it's just the lack of respect and lack of wages is really what's going on. We build some of the best equipment in the country, in the world. And all we're asking for is our fair stakes in this. In a time when we have differences coming at us from a million different directions, people are putting aside those differences for the sake of solidarity, and it's a good feeling, and I think it's our time. The cheap labor bubble is finally busting, and it's really the rebirth of the American labor movement.